Are you known as the funny one in your friendship groups? What person funny are you? Picture this. Whenever you are around, fits of laughter follow and your storytelling skills are second to none. You're always turning things into a joke because nothing lightens the mood like some humor, isn't it? So if this description suits you best, then it's time to ace your humorous side. Hello, everybody. I am Sapna Mahadevan public speaking specialist at Planet Spark, and I welcome all of you to PSTV Live. Starting today, we bring to you a new vertical, which is stand-up comedy, and you can learn the art of having everyone in stitches. And if you're wondering what that means, then let me tell you that in stitches is an idiom, which means laughing so hard that you cannot actually stop. Yes, so let me introduce you to the introductory slide here. There it is. Stand out at stand-up comedy. Explore yourself at a comic level. I'm sure that you're going to have a lot of learnings from these episodes, just like we did with the story writing vertical. And uh, do stay tuned in with me here for today's first episode. And um, let us understand all about the art of stand-up comedy, right? So here is the coming up section. And before I move any further, let me again look at the comment box here. Sushma gives me a love emoji there. Thanks a lot for that, dear. And a big hello as well. Hi to all of you watching me in today's live. And uh, we are starting a new vertical from today which is stand-up comedy. So if you want to ace your humorous side, then you're at the correct platform here. Learn all about stand-up comedy. Uh, today, for starters, we are going to discuss about the origin of how stand-up comedy started. Yes. So let me showcase all of the coming up segments, specially curated for my wonderful viewers here. So first things first, we have what is. So we will be talking about um, the origin of stand-up comedy. First of all, what is stand-up comedy, right? Then there's a fun story. Uh, there are a lot of fun segments, a lot of interactive segments, I should say, where I'm expecting that you all are going to be participative as always and give me the answers in the chat box, yes? So there is the quiz time, there is guess the titles, guess the expressions, there is a crossword towards the end of the episode and we have a new one today. Of course, all the segments are um, newly curated for this uh, vertical that we have planned on. And here we have decipher the EDM. Yes. So EDMs are phrases which have a hidden meaning. You cannot take them literally. Right. And we are going to learn a lot of EDMs uh, and try and decipher their meanings. Right. And as always, we have icebreaker questions. Um, so give me some amusing answers in the chat box here and let's make this whole lot of fun, right? So I am going to move ahead with the first icebreaker question for the day. Here it is. Um, if you could meet a superhero, who would that be? That's the first question that we have in our icebreaker. And quickly in the chat box, uh, go ahead and write your comments. If you have any thoughts to share, um, you can definitely write that out as well. And uh, if you like, love this new vertical that we have uh, curated for all of you wonderful people, then do let me know that as well in the chat box, right? Um, great. So I get Superman as one of the answers there. Thanks a lot for that comment, Karthik. Okay, we get um, Wonder Woman. Wow. Lovely. All the superheroes that we would like to meet, isn't it? And Dafia says she would like to meet Peter Pan and not a superhero, okay? So Peter Pan is one of the uh, magical, fantastical elements there, right? Sushma says that she would like to meet Johnny Lever, okay? So since it is, um, you know, going well with our theme maybe today of stand-up comedy, isn't it, Sushma? One of the best that we have um, in India, right? Okay, uh, we're talking about superheroes here. So maybe 
you can let me know which is the superhero that you would want to meet someone who has supernatural powers and uh, i get avengers great so a lot of popular answers there right lovely batman spider man how can we forget all of these classic superheroes right great thanks again for all of those answers there and now let me get going to the next segment which is what are we discussing today yes so let's get a hang of what are we going to discuss today of course it is all about stand up comedy and what is stand up comedy is something that you might be really intrigued with so let me tell you stand up comedy is a comedy performance where a comedian performs in front of a live audience often addressing them directly from the stage right and the performer is known as a comic a comedian or simply as a stand up right so that's uh, the meaning of stand up comedy when you perform from the stage directly for a live audience and the subject that you're going to perform on is going to be comedy so you're trying to make your audience laugh out loud right and that's the agenda when a performer is performing a stand up comedy yes so they have this tricky one liners punch lines all of this that uh, you know they deliver with so much elegance um and the timing is also just right isn't it so that's what a stand up comedian is and we are going to learn how we can be acing that game right so here is the next uh segment here what is stand up comedy and let me tell you it consists of one liners stories observations or shtick that may incorporate props music magic tricks or even ventriloquism yes so stand up comedy can be performed almost anywhere including but not limited to clubs festivals night clubs colleges theaters it's become been really become it's sorry it's really become popular these days and um, who doesn't want to um, really loosen up a bit right so that's what stand up comedy is all about and now before we move ahead to understand how and where it originated from let's get to another segment here and this segment is all about amusing ourselves a little let's learn wise lessons by the funny medium of stories right so here is a quick story that i have for all of you with uh, lovely pictures so do stay tuned in with me we have a lot of interactive segments for today with this new vertical which is stand up comedy right so uh now it is time for a story here it goes this story is about two cats and a monkey and as it starts there is there are two cats arguing over a piece of bread one day they keep fighting as to how much each of them should be getting and a monkey who is perched on a tree nearby was watching all of this drama unfold and he was also looking and observing at all of the argument that was happening between the two cats now the monkey as we know is really clever and cunning he called out to the cats and he said he was willing to help them sp split their bread and he told them that he would be splitting the bread exactly in half so that you know there was no chance of a fight at all now the cats handed their bread over to the monkey without much to think of and what happens next is the monkey tries to split the bread in two pieces but one of the piece ends up becoming larger than the other now the monkey nibbled on the larger piece and tried to make it equal but again it ended being smaller than the other this kept on going and he kept on nibbling on the bread uh, in attempts to make it equal but finally what happens was that he ended up eating all of the bread now here we saw that the two cats were really quarrelsome and that got nowhere isn't it he had tricked the cats and when they asked him what they what he had done he said that if he had split the bread themselves this wouldn't have happened laughing the monkey swung away from tree to tree yes so that was an amusing story isn't it and we saw how uh two cats fighting the third one got the benefit isn't it so that was a funny story to amuse ourselves a little bit before we move ahead to the serious stuff of where did stand up comedy originate from right do let me know in the chat box if you like that story there um i can see emojis and thumbs ups come up here and prachi says that uh, it's really a nice thing that we have started thanks a lot for that prachi 
we have a whole lot of information that we would be giving you in our future episodes as well about stand up comedy just like we covered the story writing genre yes so here let us move ahead to the next segment and learn all about the origin of stand up comedy right now stand up as a western art form has its roots in the traditions of the late 19th and early 20th centuries from vaudeville burlesque and english music hall now also the first documented use of stand up as a term was in the stage in 1911 describing a miss nelly perrier delivering stand up comic ditties in a chic and charming manner now you might want to know what ditties are so let me tell you that these are um you know uh, a short simple song that is done up in a clever humorous manner right that is what uh, ditties would mean here and she uh, described the performance of comedy songs rather than stand up comedy in true terms right so that's how um, ditties are um, actually performance of a song rather than a stand up comedy in true, true terms but that was what it was described as uh, in the year 1911 now after that in the yorkshire evening post of 10th november 1917 the stage gossip column described the career of finlay dunn the article states dunn played as what he calls a stand up comedian so that's how the word stand up comedian originated and uh, till date it is actually getting more and more popular right now this usage is more convincing than the 1911 review of nelly perio because as i mentioned um, it was a ditty which meant a small song sequence and not a stand up comedy act although performing as a comedy piano act for most of his career a favored strand included joking about his large physical size described as good buffoonery in evening dress and while the article was published in 1917 it refers to an earlier phase of his career so we always see that stand up com- uh, comics they also uh, what they do is uh try and make fun of themselves and thereby they are making the public laugh right so that's also one of the ways in which stand up comedy can be done and let me also tell you that dunn may have been a stand up comedian uh, a stand up comedian in the very late part of the 19th century or the early 20th century it is also possible that dunn used the term retrospectively when recalling his past life and it is not really clear exactly when his stand up act was first performed so that's what we know about the origin of stand up comedy from uh, the year 1911 uh, from nelly perrier's uh, ditty performance and uh, to the year 1917 when we saw um, the stage gossip column mentioning a stand up comedy act right so this was the early reference to stand up comedy and now before we move further into the details let me take you through a quick ice breaker question and there it is if you could be a cartoon character for a day what would you be that's the question that we have for all of my wonderful viewers here do let me know in the chat box which is that one cartoon character that you really love whom you would want to imbibe maybe yes i definitely would go for tom or jerry both of them are my favorites um and it's really amusing to see them at play right so yes tom and jerry for me what about you uh, do let me know here in the chat box um we have varun tell me that he would like to be nobita okay so uh, from the doremon series right that's really popular and uh, who else any of the disney characters right so i think you're men- you're wanting to mention mickey mouse or maybe donald duck yes uh, that is wonderful great thanks for that jennifer says popoy is really interesting yes well, of course popoy the sailor man right lovely thanks again for all of these answers here we get mickey mouse as well um right so a cartoon character for a day that would be really fun right lovely so let's move ahead to our next segment yay it is quiz time already so uh, we have some fun questions for our viewers for today 
and answer these questions as fast as you can. You can be as fast as lightning speed. And remember, you have only 30 seconds to answer each question. Yes, yeah, so I am thinking that you're going to be quick enough in responding to all of these questions. If you are all ready, I'm going to show the first question, the first quiz question for the day. Here it is. Whose nose grew longer every time he lied? That's quite simple, isn't it? A piece of cake. Who was that character whose nose grew longer when they lied? And we always um, refer to this character when we see someone lying, right? That is correct, Asha. Thanks a lot for that answer. Yes, Daksha also giving me the right answer. That is yes, correct. Pinocchio was the name of the character whose nose grew longer every time he lied, right? Great. Now, going ahead to the next question here. Everything to do from the world of stories. What is the name of the fairy in Peter Pan? I love this story here, Peter Pan, and all about the description about, uh, you know, Neverland, the pirates, Captain Hook. I'm not, I'm being careful that I don't mention the name of the fairy here. So that is the next question in our quiz time. What is the name of the fairy in Peter Pan? A little fairy. Yes, that is correct. Great. R giving me the correct answer there. Yes, I was looking for other answers here. So Tinkerbell is the correct answer. And let's move ahead to the next question in our quiz time. There it is. If you freeze water, what do you get? Think about this. It's really common sense. If you freeze water, what do you get? Asha says, scolding from mom. That's hilarious. Okay. But apart from that, what do you get? Ice. That is correct. Yes. Ice it is. Now, there is the last question that I have for our quiz time today. And brace yourselves for this one. Here we go. In the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. What do Jack and Jill go up the hill to fetch? So try retelling the nursery rhyme. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a what? And give me the answer in the chat box here. Such good rhymes that we had, isn't it? Yes, that is correct again. A pail of water, right? They went on the top of the hill to fetch a pail of water. That's correct. And pail would mean a bucket kind of a thing, yes? Lovely. Now, after those quiz questions, I hope you all had fun playing that out with me here. And I'm going to move ahead to the next segment. The next segment is called Decipher the EDM, right? And the EDM that we have for today is be laughed out of court. Now, what does it mean when someone says to you be laughed out of court? So the meaning of this particular EDM is when people dismiss your ideas and refuse to take them seriously, right? Uh, in such a circumstance, you can be using this particular EDM, be laughed out of court, which means that um, you're not being taken seriously at all, right? And let me also give you a sentence or a usage in a sentence where you will understand um, how this can be put across in, a, in your vocabulary. So, for example, if you want to use this EDM, be laughed out of court, the example sentence that we have here is, you will be laughed out of court if you present your idea like that to the company CEO, right? So that's how you use the EDM, be laughed out of court. And when someone's not taking you seriously or they are refusing to take your idea, then that's the EDM that you need to remember, yes? So with that, I want all of you to now write down the EDMs as well in your uh, maybe in your Google it journal or you can make an EDM it journal. Yes. And try writing out all of the EDMs that we mentioned going forward in our episodes. It is one of uh, the impressive ways um, to, you know, communicate effectively with people. Yes. So that's the EDM that we saw for today. And now let me move ahead to the next icebreaker question. Um, there it is. If you could travel to one place for free, where would it be? That's the next question that we have here. And uh, expecting answers here in the chat box. You're welcome uh, to ask any questions that you have for me or uh, anything that crosses your mind. Um, you can check that with me and I would 
definitely try answering that to the best of my capacity yes um so for now we have this icebreaker question here if you could travel to one place for free where would it be that's the next question in our icebreaker segment and uh switzerland is the answer that i get there um yes for all the beauty and for all the scenery that we have there totally get that um uh, prachi says switzerland we have Singapore come up here. Okay, all of us trying, wanting to travel to one place or the other. Yes, uh, to my cousin's place is what Jennifer tells me. That's good. Okay, lovely. Disneyland is what Varun tells me here. That's really interesting, isn't it, Varun? So traveling for free itself is a big booster here, right? Great. Thanks again for all of those answers, the emojis as well. Um, and I can see a lot of love emojis there in the chat box. Thanks for that again. And let's move ahead to the next segment. It's again a fun segment for you all. And this is guess the title, right? So I'm going to show you some pictures and you need to guess these popular comedy sitcom titles, right? These are really hilarious ones. And let me showcase the first one to you here. There it is. Okay, so Sheldon and his antics. Uh, what is, it is not a movie, but it's a sitcom. And you can tell me the name if you know about it. The name in the chat box. So let me reveal that to you. Here it is, Big The Big Bang Theory. And the second one, there you go. Any answers to this one? Okay, so let me reveal that as well. Here it is, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And the next one coming up here, that's something that we cannot really miss. Yes, a popular, popular character. And uh, this particular character has had us in stitches lots of time, right? That is correct, it is Mr. Bean, yes. So let's move ahead after that popular Mr. Bean to the next uh, title here. There it is. Any answers to this one? That is correct again. How I met your mother. Yes. Okay. Now we have the last one for the day. Kudos to all of you for giving me correct answers. And here it is. And this is again a popular sitcom. Friends, that's right. It is Friends. Thanks again, Jennifer, Daksha. Um, yes, really popular ones. Great. So thanks again for giving me the answers in the chat box. And with that, uh, let us move ahead into the next segment. You can let me know in the chat box if you have watched any sitcoms lately, any humorous ones at that right and with that let's move ahead uh, and understand more about the origin of stand-up comedy yes so let me tell you that stand-up at least in the form that it is known today um, it is a fairly recent entertainment phenomenon and in the united states where it developed first and reached its greatest popularity it had its origins in the comic lecturer such as Mark Twain, who toured the country in the 19th century, right? Uh, and these days, the way that we know stand-up comedy emerging, um, it is really fantastic. And after uh, the, uh, like how we saw that it started with the, from the 19th century, after that, it began to emerge as populist entertainment in vaudeville in the early decades of 20th century. Right now, the comedian who probably did the most to make stand up comedy a staple of American popular entertainment was Bob Hope, a British born former vaudeville song and dance man. Hope, an admirer of Fay, developed an engaging rapid fire style as a vaudeville MC and beginning in 1938 as host of his own top rated radio program. So that's how stand up comedy as we know it today got popular and it emerged. And since then, this popular culture never stopped 
uh, going backwards, right? In fact, stand-up comedy is widespread and it is accepted all around the world and that too in every culture. So that's what we know about stand-up comedy's origin and how it got uh, popular, how it emerged. And uh, these days it has a typically different form that we are seeing, right? Quite popular in each of the circles, right? And uh, going forward, we will be also understanding more and more about stand-up comedy, the different types, what are the benefits, how you can be performing as a stand-up comic, what are the different tips and tricks that we can be offering you. Yes, so everything to do with stand-up comedy will, will be uh, the agenda going forward in our live episodes, right? Now, before we move any further, I have one Google it word for today, which is rapid. And uh, when we say rapid fire questions or when we say rapid, what it means is that something which happens in a short period of time or in a great pace or in a great rate, right? So something which is fast and turbulent can be called as rapid. And when we say rapid fire questions, it is termed like that because you need to answer back quickly, right? And you cannot take a lot of time, isn't it? So that's the first Google it word for today, rapid. And let us now move ahead to the next segment. Uh, and here we have the next segment, which is your expression speak, right? And here you need to guess the moods by looking at these expressive emojis and let me know what it means, right? So here is the first one that we have for today. Uh, your expression speak. If you have such kind of an expression, then what's your mood? Do let me know in the chat box there. Okay, so I get happy there. That is correct. I think that should be happy. Yes, that is right. Um, so if you are really delighted, if you are overjoyed, then that is the emotion that you would be having. That is the expression that your face will have, right? Here is the second one. Okay, so that's quite popular. Yes. And if you're laughing your head off, then this is the emoji that you would be using, right? What is that emoji? That's correct. Again, it is laughing emoji. Yes, laughing so hard that uh, the emoji has tears in their eyes, right? Okay, now moving ahead to the next one. Here we are. Yes, Daksha, you're right. And the last one for today, what's that? What can you understand from this emoji? Um, that's not surprise. No, it's not surprised. Um, so let me tell you, this is a smirk emoji. And what smirk means is when you're laughing in a really silly way or in an irritatingly smug way, then that's called smirk. Yes. So that's the word and that's the emoji, the expression smirk. Right. So with that, we come to the end of your expression speak segment. And now let's move ahead to another fun segment, which is locate the words. Right. So what we have here next um, is just like in the story writing segment, we showed you a letter maze and you need to, needed to identify all of the hidden words. Similarly here, we are going to show you a letter maze and you need to think of all that we learned in today's episode and try finding out the hidden words here, right? So these words could be written horizontally, vertically, or even um, diagonally maybe. Yes, and the words are related to today's episode. So what do you think about this? What are the words that you can find here? Have an eagle's vision and quickly give me answers in the chat box. Okay, comedy it is. Yes, that's the correct one. Arv, you get the early bird. Um, comedy is correct. And then what do we have next? Stage, that's correct again. So let me tell you, there are three words that we have for today's episode. Three words relating to today's episode. We already have comedy and stage. What's the third one? Of course, no points for guessing. That is correct. It is origin. And let me showcase all of them to you. Uh, people who have not found that out already, let me show you here. Comedy written horizontally. And then we have origin written vertically. 
And finally, there we have stage also written vertically, right? That's wonderful. So thanks a lot again for all of those answers. With that, we come to the end of today's episode. And I, before I leave you for today um, uh, and end the broadcast for today, I would want to give you a quick recap of all that we learned today. At a glance is the name of the segment here. And let me tell you what all did we learn today. We understood what was stand-up comedy. It is an act of performing for a live audience on stage and delivering your lines in such a fashion that your audience laughs their head out, right? Laugh their heads off, yes. So that is what is a stand-up comedy. And we also tried to understand how did the term stand-up comedy originate. And we learned a little bit about stand-up comedy as well, yes. So now the project work that we have for today is that you can try thinking of all the elements that we spoke of today and prepare notes on the history of stand-up comedy, yes. So that is the first step in understanding all about stand-up comedy. So do uh, try doing this um, homework or project work here, yes. And tomorrow again, I will be meeting you all at 6 p.m. India time with... Um, the next topic for discussion, which is benefits of stand-up comedy, right? So until I meet you next tomorrow, I am Sapna Mahadevan signing out for today. And I want all of you to take good care of yourselves, keep smiling and stay happy. Bye-bye.